If you like our content, please like, subscribe, and click the notification bell to get alerts when we introduce new videos. Hello and welcome. We're going to perform a brief demonstration today on how to identify issues impacting client performance. We'll take a look at Unleashed uh, to identify any poorly connected clients, and then we'll run some APCLI commands to help us determine what the cause of our issues may be. Okay, so here we are logged into my home Unleashed network. Uh, you can currently see that I've got 16 clients uh, across three access points. What we want to take a look today at are clients that may be exhibiting poor performance. So if I just select clients here from this list, I see all of the clients um, that are connected to these APs. And if I look over on this second page, I can see that I've got uh, a device that is showing a poor uh, quality, which attributes to showing up under this access point tab uh, as a poor performing client. So we can see on this 650, we've got one device that is showing up as a, as a poor client status. So going back to clients, um, we're going to see if we can look at some details for this particular client. So we can see that it is connected to the 650 underscore 33 AP. We are connected at 802.11 AC. Um, that's primarily because the WLAN that they are connected to only is operating in 5 gigahertz. So they're not stepping down on this particular device. But we can also click show details and get some additional information. Uh, we can see the RSSI, the signal to noise ratio, and we can see um, the data rate that this particular device is connected at. So um, what I actually want to do now is I want to jump into that particular AP and take a look at some settings on that to see if I can determine um, additional things that might be impacting uh, client performance. Uh, here we are logged into the AP via SSH. Um, the first thing that I'm going to do is just uh, run get uh, WLAN list so we can see uh, which name is associated with each of these SSIDs. And I happen to know that uh, the Chromebook was on the Chromebook SSID. So that's the one that we're going to take a look at first. Uh, we're going to run the command get radio stats and then WLAN 34 since the, uh, 34 since that's the one that it is associated with and hit enter. Uh, so this is going to show us a lot of stuff. The first thing that I want to uh, focus in on, I'm going to scroll back up. I'm going to take a look at this, the histogram of phi errors per second. So uh, I'm not seeing a whole lot of stuff here. Typically, if you see things, uh, excessive errors under 10K, 20K, 50K and above, that means that there's something going on with, with the RF maybe in the area. So you would want to fire up a spectrum analyzer and look to see if, uh, if there is some Wi-Fi or non-Wi-Fi source of RF interference. Um, and if there is, uh, you'd, you would particularly want to move your channel away um, or implement channel fly to, to help assist your AP with, with getting away from the noise. And, and, if, and if that isn't possible, um, moving relocating the physical AP so it isn't in contact with the RF would be what you'd have to do. Um, so th this actually looks good. So I did see some some errors um, under the unleashed stats, but uh, not enough to be concerned with here. I don't think I've got uh, an RF interference issue. So I'm next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the airtime stats. Uh, so if looking at the airtime stats here, we can see that there's actually not much going on for this WLAN right now. Um, we can look at the busy percentage at the top, the receive and the transmit. Um, typically, if you are seeing high receive, um, like 30% uh, or higher on this receive number, you're going to be probably having an issue with co-channel interference or that there's a client maybe that is utilizing too much airtime, um, possibly is on the edge of the cell and, and has, a, has a bad signal um, and is, is eating up all your, your airtime. Um, and if you, see, if you see an overall busy percentage of 30%, um, this is going to impact a lot of clients. So any of the clients on this um, network is going to have problems. So you typically want to see these uh, busy numbers below 30%. Um, so this all looks good here. I, I'm not seeing anything that I'm particularly concerned about. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to look at the station details here. So I'm going to run get station WLAN 34. 
uh, and I'm going to say uh, list. Oop. And we are seeing the devices that are connected in um, to this particular uh, AP on this WLAN. And this one of particular note is the one that we were looking at with the poor connection, BD5F. Um, so typically what you want to look for here, I mean, it gives you the details on uh, what channel and VLAN you're on, uh, what rate you're connected at, um, but also it gives you the RSSI value for this particular client. Um, this is You want to see this number over 30. So in this case, we don't see this number over 30. So I think the issue that we're seeing here is more related to the power level that the um, that the uh, client and the AP are seeing each other at. So it's not close enough. This is a Chromebook. I'm not sure where this particular Chromebook is at the moment, other than that it's associated to this AP. So probably need to get this Chromebook back to where it is in better coverage or uh, could set up some additional roaming to get this thing um, connected better to a AP if it sees a stronger signal. I don't know if that is the case, but uh, those are things that we could look for. So we, the other device here is looking good, uh, but this 28 AP is definitely not looking good. So um, if we go back to Unleashed, we can see that that um, yeah, BD5F is the one with the, the poor signal. So we would want to look to relocate this um, to get it to roam to something with a stronger signal or relocate it closer to the AP so that it would be able to uh, negotiate a higher data rate. That completes this demo. We hope you join us soon for another one. Thank you.